What's the like the easiest fine you got? And you're like, what? That can't be a fine. Well, there's some footage of me like I was at this really prestigious tournament and I pretended to <laughs> with a water bottle. I got fined. <laughs> <laughs> I got fined fifteen thousand dollars. This is what right? it says. No way. That's actually not bad. But it's it, bad for tennis. If you though. had done uh, it with a prime bottle, they would have paid for your fine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he said you've actually been suspended by ATP before and received more fines for his temperamental on court behavior look. than any other player in ATP <laughs> history. <laughs> Can you that? Let Can me you see it again. No. <laughs> Why did you do that, man? <laughs> Yo, you came. You yeah. came with the bottle. You squeezed <laughs> you, the bottle. Do you I just, actually don't know. Do I you just, just not give? Would you say you just really don't give? I was a looking. Fuck I was looking at my team. My team was just in the box having fun, and this is semifinals of like a really prestigious event. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It's just I just felt like the doing slow it. motion. Yeah. You gotta shake so it. So the, the, the face is the best. <laughs> you gotta shake it. Look up. at the cop behind you, bro. What's the cop <laughs> doing back there with the AV? Yeah, she's had enough. Dude. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Now you do whatever the fuck you want, bro. People respect that. The cool people respect that. There's tennis snobs, bro. Like, I don't well, know. the the biggest one was I think was Wimbledon, right? And and Wimbledon, the most prestigious tennis yep. tournament in the world, one that Jideon also showed up oh, and yeah. caused a scene at. And you and you, <laughs> so what's the deal? You have to wear white, white. Have to. And you wanted to wear a red. I wore hat. a red hat and red shoes for the um, presentation. I got fined. I think like almost ten grand as well. And, and it and what? it and it's crazy because what you're doing for the sport is kind of what th this like coming of age that has to happen. You Definitely, see, you've seen it happen with golf. You've seen it happen with all these other sports where you say, okay, like listen, we're being phased out by mm -hmm. sports that are continuing 100%. to evolve from a social media and from an entertainment standpoint. Yep. And I feel like your happy Gilmore nature <laughs> is necessary to the sport. Would you agree? I definitely agree. Cause pers like the personalities in tennis are a bit inside the box. And I just feel like I'm not doing anything crazy though. If you compare it to other sports, like some of the stuff you do, I love, you know what I mean? Just being yourself. But for tennis, I got, I can't walk the line too much though. Cause they'll just suspend me and I need to play. That's so which is wack. which is I, which is also interesting too because yeah. like as a kid growing up and watching you know McEnroe and these guys that are yeah. quite eccentric and almost violent on the court yeah. it always seemed like like you were singled out and do you think that there's other reasons why that that why that happens to you? yeah I, I, I'll probably wouldn't say him on this podcast <laughs> okay. but yeah I gotta ask the yeah, questions yeah right? for sure but at the same time like there's not many people like me at the moment that are like that but then when they want to like you know, post on social media about tennis. It's always about me or, you know, some of the, you know, Nadal or Djokovic or, or me, it's no one else. And then they're like, oh, you can't do this. But then they'll use my name to like, kind of, mm. you know, bring tickets, fans, anything. Do you feel like they're not uh, crazy about even growing an audience? They just want their certain type of audience and they don't want yeah. to go outside of that box? Yeah, like country I think, club mentality. yeah, exactly. But yeah. unfortunately, like you, as you said, you know, NFL, NBA, or like no one does sports like America. Like. I'm just entertained from start to finish. But tennis is like, who wants to sit there for five hours? Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.